in this tutorial i'll talk about few very important topics these are a bit confusing but same time very important and you will definitely get some question in your interviews as well so i will be explaining these topics with practical implementation so i will be using the same scenario uh, which we are going to use throughout this series so till now let's say we have created a site english site for us now my business has been expanded and i'm mo moving my footprint to some other countries let's say canada and india and i need website for these countries as well but along with english site i need websites for other languages as well specific to particular country for example for canada i need english and french and for india i need english and hindi at the same time my business has been grown in us so i want a website in us uh, for for spanish people spanish spe speaking people as well so to understand how you will be creating these website uh, for other countries and other languages you must understand these four topics blueprint site language copy and live copy so i will be explaining these uh, with practical example when you create a project using maven archetype you will find two section in your content section one is a language master another one is a us and both contain a english site so basically these in language master these are the pages used in blueprint now you must understand what is the blueprint blueprint is basically something you will be creating site on using that you know base pages please pay attention here because i will be moving uh, from one topic another to explain you uh, the use case okay so we'll see first we'll see what is the need of a particular topic let's say what is the need of blueprint and what is blueprint so let's say i need a site for canada so what is what are my options so go here and create you will see the site when you click on the site it will ask you to select blueprint right now what is that blueprint so you will find one blueprint like geeks tutorial blueprint you will find for your project basically when you create project maven art type create a blueprint for you but what's that you can create your own blueprint so i will stop here and i'll show you the blueprint so let's cancel it we'll come back again to this screen after explaining the blueprint okay so blueprint basically uh, how you can create or edit blueprint go to the tools and then sites now you will find the blueprint when you click on this you will find here a console to create or modify blueprint so you can create your own blueprint let's say you are running a old site and you don't have blueprint so you can create one blueprint here so let me uh, edit mine also so you obviously you can create new as soon as you see there only one uh, field which is important where you select the source path so if you see here i will be defining here what are my blueprint pages so if you see in this screen let me open i chose language master as my blueprint pages it's not mandatory to use only this you can use your us sites or us pages as a blueprint and you can create other country site using these pages but because it's a adobe recommendation so let's keep blueprint completely separate it's not mandatory to use only this okay if you see here you can choose your sites means your your blueprint pages here you can update or you can create new now let's cancel we have one but there is a one more question because for canada i will be creating english and french but if you even if you see in this language master i see only english site i don't see so how i gonna create this whether i will be creating the french site from this or how so now the language master comes into picture so first you using the language master functionality let's create the other sites so click on this because these my base pages means this is the blueprint so let's create the language copies inside this so how will you be creating this so choose language master and create and you will find the option language copy okay here it will ask you to select pages 
so where I want the language copy to be created from so I said this I need these pages all pages next now this screen is important so it will ask you first what is your cloud configuration why cloud configuration so there always a folder created conf select that okay and once you select this you will see some other options translation provider translation settings translation method and all so basically because you are creating language copies and language copies are not in English they are some other languages so you need to translate those cop content so for that you can use translators right Adobe has a standard framework so that the third party can create their translators here there is a Microsoft Translator by default available by option for your for your demo purposes. So as soon as I select this, that that demo translator is available. Okay. Now uh, you can in your real projects you can use any third party. So you that third party will be available in this drop down. Now, so what country site I want? So you need to select the languages. So first I need uh, French. I choose French. And I need Hindi, Hindi for India. Okay, and I need Spanish. So I'm creating three language copies from English language. Okay, and let's done project. So this is basically this part. There is a one more option. We will use this in coming tutorial where you will be creating project where you will be creating translations for this means you will be translating you will be creating jobs to translate that content from English to other languages for now let's choose this okay multi language translation project I'll I'll explain you later or in coming tutorial how to work with this and create so that project has been created now now you will see these now in language master you will see these three other languages side so basically these are these will be having the same pages but still in english because i did not translate content let let's discuss that in a separate tutorial otherwise that will be pretty long so now we have four sites and these language copies english is also a language but we are taking this as a base language so that we can translate from english to other okay now now let's create the sites now I want to create the sites for Canada okay now let's come here and sites and now choose my uh, blueprint next now it will ask you okay destination path is obviously this I will be creating under this and let's give the title and name and all site administrator is a mandatory part you can add any administrator okay let's say the admin and obviously we are going to create live copy i'll explain the live copy and the rollout configuration let's say i uh, right now i need standard configurations i'll explain this configuration in separate tutorial because this is a you know a pretty big topic now what are your languages it will ask so for this country what the language site you want I want English as well as French so let's remove these two Spanish and uh, this Hindi and what are the pages you want so I need all pages here I selected all pages now let's create create okay it's done so now I should see a country site I means country Canada and I should see two sites one for the English and one for the French if I click on this you will see these two sites English and French same way if I create uh, my sites for India let me create quickly sites blueprint and uh, what I want uh, I want English and Hindi all sites all all pages I want and let's say India India is IN and site owner let's say again administrator you can have different administrator for your different country and live copy and standard configuration as of now and if I create 
I must see a sites created for India. You will see here. Okay, so these sites has been created. Now, you see. So till now, you must have understood the uh, blueprint, language copy, and sites. But you should have a question: Where is the li live copy? Right? Where this live copy is being used? Because we have already created site for different countries and the different languages. But where is the live copy? So to understand live copy, you must see the page properties of these sites. Okay. So let me go to India and let me open the page properties of English sites. India English site. Okay. And let's go to the live copy section. So you will see the source is Language Master English. Okay. So your how you can understand. So the English site of India. Is the live copy of Language Master English site. Now, let's open the Hindi, Hindi site and the properties. You will see in live copy. You will see the source is Geeks Tutorial Language Master HI means Hindi. So, this Hindi site is the live copy of Language Master's Hindi language copy. Please understand this. This is a language copy in language master and the site created in India country site. This is the live copy from language copy. Okay. So if I use Hindi in some other country, that will also be a live copy from this language copy. It's a bit confusing. Please understand. These are in language master. These are language copies, but site created under a country is the live copy. Okay, so let me explain uh, a bit more. Okay, let's understand here. This is my language master, and these are my language copies, which created under language master under blueprint pages. Okay. Name can be anything. These are created under blueprint pages, which is the base site. By using this uh, site, I will be creating other countries' site. But the site. Let let take example of now. Let's take example of French Canada. Okay. Let me open this. So you will see here now. This site. This is French under language master is my language copy. Let me remove this bit. Okay, this is my language copy which I created under Language Master. But the site created using this under Canada, this French site is a live copy to this site. Okay, so basically, whatever the sites you create under any specific country using Blueprint content is the live copy. There are some exceptions as well. You can create a uh, copy in your specific country, and you can create the live copy from that as well. You can create a live copy for a single page as well, or a particular subsection as well. Okay. So till now you have understood all four topics, but you must have a question here. So you created live copies while creating the websites, but you see one more option here: live copy. Then why? What is used uh, this option for? Right? You are creating live copies while creating websites, but that's not true always. You need, or you may need, any site even that country website exists. For example, I'm in US, and earlier I had a English language website. Right? Now I need a Spanish, or tomorrow I can need a French as well. So. Now that live copy option or create live copy option comes into a picture. So let's say I have my country USA and I have English site. Now I need a Spanish. So what I will I be doing here? Live copy, choose live copy, and now first the source. What is the source? This my language copy, Spanish language copy is my source, and you can create the other languages as well later on. But now. This is my source. Come here. What is my destination? That's US is my destination. Next, what is the title and name? So obviously, title is a Spanish, and name is obviously the country code. 
and if you want to exclude your sub pages means it will create only website in Spanish site but not the child pages so no I do not want to exclude and the rollout configuration is for now let's say standard rollout configuration so if I create here so you must see a website means a site created uh, Spanish under US so if you see this has been created now so this now this will be a live copy to this site okay so this will be a live copy I mean, this is the language copy and the live copy created using this is this site so that's the use of live create live copy option so I hope you understood if you have any question please do comment thank you